Hello and welcome. In today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how Itential automates Arista EOS port VLAN configuration. I'll first start out by giving you an overview of the automation in Itential. The automation flow will consist of form input, which will be transformed into the data needed for the Itential prebuilt, followed by the prebuilt itself, which focuses on the EOS port configuration, a pre-check included in the prebuilt to confirm the requested inventory is not already consumed a provisioning step where we'll actually send the configuration into the Arista switch using a template and the supplied input from the form data. And finally, we'll end the pre-built with a post check to confirm that the provisioning has taken place and the port is up. After the overview of the automation, I'll demo it on a live device. All right, and that's our agenda, so I'll move into the Itential Automation platform now. On this screen, you can see a very simple workflow. There's just two tasks on here. The first one is the transformation, where we perform the data manipulation. This converts our input data into the payload needed for the Itential prebuilt. The second task is the Itential prebuilt itself. This workflow is a great place to combine prebuilts or bring your own business logic so you can define the end to end automation. Diving into the prebuilt, we can see where the steps are defined for the pre check, provisioning, post check, and some validation along the way. It's important to have error handling because from time to time issues will occur and you'll have to be ready to recover from them. This command template is part of the automation. It's what's being used for the pre-check. Notice in the pre-check we are confirming the configuration does not exist. And similarly, we have a post-check template to confirm the configuration is valid after provisioning. In the middle of both of these command templates, we execute a configuration template that takes the input as variables and applies it to the configuration template. That allows us to build the configuration before sending it into our Arista switch. Now that we understand how the pre-built works in our automation, let's move into the demonstration. First, I'll go into Configuration Manager so we can look at our device. Clicking on Load Configuration will fetch the configuration from the device. Clicking into Operations Manager, I'll manually start this automation. Just as a reminder, there are several ways automations can be started, but for today's demonstration, I'll use a user input form. I'll fill out the required fields and then click Run to start the automation. After the job has started, I can click to view the current job running. This gives us a nice audit view of how the job is executing. I can click into Visualize to follow along from a visual picture of how the automation was built. Double clicking into some of these tasks, I can get into the child jobs. This particular one is running a pre-check, so I've clicked on the manual task here to confirm the results. I can see everything is green, which indicates things have passed. The device has responded with interface does not exist, which is valid for our pre-check. I'll go ahead and approve this step and move on to the next. Now we can see the configuration change that's being proposed to the device. It looks correct based on the variables that I've entered in for my input. Clicking provision will send the configuration to the device. Once that comes back, we'll have the next step for the post check. The post check is ready for our review, so I'll work the task and review the results. We can see everything green, meaning that things have passed our rules, and we can see that the VLAN has been configured on the device based on the results. Just as a reminder, the post check, pre check, and review of the provisioning configuration were all manual tasks that we optionally accepted to review. We could have made this a zero touch configuration workflow and just sent this in without any user interaction. The last step in the pre built is the review pre post comparison. This shows us an easy difference between what happened in the pre-check versus what happened in the post-check. We can see that in the pre-check, the interface did not exist, but in the green, the post-check shows us that the VLAN has been configured. The difference looks good to me, so we'll go ahead and approve that step as well. Back in the visualized view, we can see that the automation is completed, and we can see the color-coded path that the automation flow took. The tasks in gray were not executed. Back in Configuration Manager, I'll go ahead and pull the configuration once again for this device, and once uh, configuration comes back, we'll scroll down here, and we can see that the interface has been configured with VLAN 2. All right, that completes today's demonstration. Thanks for watching.